IGMP snooping operations relies on three basic messages. Let's say this router, this server is sending multicast traffic to the 239.1.1 multicast group address. By default, the switch will drop all those multicast packets because it has not received a request from any of the connected devices to receive multicast traffic for that group. However, if you disable IGMP snooping, that traffic will be sent over all the ports on that same VLAN. That's why it's not recommended to disable, as IGMP snooping is designed to control the flooding of the multicast frames on the Layer 2 domain. Once a, a client is interested in receiving that traffic, it will send an IGMP join specifying that it wants to receive traffic for that specific group. When this happens, the switch will update its IGMP table and will forward multicast traffic from the server to that port. Keep in mind that it will only forward that traffic to the ports where it has received an IGMP membership report or IGMP join. That's the first of the messages. Now let's say that the client is done with the multicast stream and it closes the video application. It may send an IGMP explicit lift, which is the second message. This will make the switch update its table and prevent multicast traffic for that specific group to be forwarded through that interface. However, the client may or may not send that explicit lift. So when it doesn't send explicit lift, there is a third message which is sent periodically by a device called the M router or the IGMP snooping query of the group. And this message is a is like a broadcast question of who needs 239.1.1.1 traffic. If it doesn't receive a response, it will prune those ports. And that's how uh, multicast forwarding stops to those ports. If it receives a response, it will keep sending multicast traffic to the ports whenever the whatever the response is received. If you, if you happen to have two switches, you may run into a situation where the IGMP join does not get to the upstream switch. This happens on some devices because they do not send the IGMP join through all ports. They, they only send it through ports called as M router ports. An M router port is a port of a switch where I receive either a PIM hello packet or an IGMP membership query. In order to trigger those frames, you have two options. You can enable PIM on the Ledger 3 interface using the command interface VLAN X or interface GIC, whatever the number is, and then IP PIM sparse or dense mode. Or you can, if you don't want to enable PIM, you can do IP IGMP snooping query for that VLAN. That device will be in charge of sending the membership queries. Whenever a multicast and a PIM hello packet is received or a membership query, IGMP membership query is received on a port, those switches will categorize those ports as M router ports. Therefore, the IGMP join messages will be sent over those M router ports and will get to the upstream switches. This way, the switches will learn where to send the multicast traffic and the video will be sent from the uh, server to the client.